a rally to stand with Don Walker and to call for her return home. You are advocating for Don to be extradited quicker so she can be home in our homeland. That's our main purpose. Walker is currently in an Oregon jail, accused of faking her death and that of her son, then fleeing to the U.S. using a stolen identity. She faces charges in the states for illegally crossing the border and abduction and mischief charges here at home. In a statement to CBC Tuesday, she said, I left Saskatoon because I feared for my safety and that of my son. We want you safe and home here on your own treaty lands to tell your story. But bringing Walker back to Canada isn't a simple or easy matter. The Canadian Department of Justice first has to make a formal extradition request. They haven't gotten back to us on whether they've done that yet. Then it's ultimately up to U.S. officials to make the final decision on whether Walker is extradited. If extradition is given the go-ahead, an extradition expert says the process could play out in one of two ways. A number of things could happen. She could be extradited back here to be tried on the Canadian offences and then re-extradited back to the U.S. to be tried on the American offences. And then if she's convicted in either country, she can be you know, sent to serve a sentence in one country and then sent to serve a sentence in the other country. But because Walker is facing more serious charges in Canada, Professor Curry says it's possible American authorities could drop the charges on their side and go ahead with extradition. If that happened, Canadian authorities could possibly add identity theft to their list of charges since the alleged offense occurred here. Walker is expected back in court in the U.S. next month. Yasmin Ghanayas, CBC News, Saskatoon.